student actions. You have the option for student actions just as you do teacher actions. So if you find a course or class that you want to perform those actions, simply right-click on it, go to student actions, and you have these actions right here. You're able to add students manually to a class, remove the students manually from the class, and join yourself as a student. So you'll notice these look very familiar, not just like in the teacher actions. So it's going to walk you through the process. You'll select the class. If you have multiple classes, you'll just select all of those. You'll hit continue. You'll type in the student's email or name so it can fetch them. And then the next step is, remember, the system wants to notify the primary teacher of the changes. So you can compose an email here, or you can uncheck it and not send the email. And then the last thing is to confirm what you're doing. So you review it, make sure it's correct, and you will complete that right there. Simple steps. Also, right here under student actions, you can remove students. So if the, whatever courses you select will show it here. If there is no students in the course, all of this area would be red. It's going to warn you and say there's no students in the class. You hit continue, follow the same step, type in the student's name, send the email to the primary teacher if you would like, and then the last step is to check and confirm what you're about to do. And then the last one is for you to actually join the class yourself as a student. So you can see it from the student's perspective to provide any feedback needed to the teacher. You do have the option to do that as well. You follow those same steps. Check the course that you want to join. You continue. Decide if you want to send an email to the primary teacher and confirm what you're getting ready to do. So those are the steps for completing any student actions here in Little Sis.